Welcome to Invictus Porsche for my favorite Porsche 911 997 Gen 2 because of the spec. Before we can start talking about this 911, please don't forget to press that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment. Porsche 911 997 went through a mid-cycle refresh in 2008 and basically the whole car is sitting on a completely new basically suspension um, alloys the coolant pipes have been redesigned it no longer do you have the ball scoring issue it's got a pdk gearbox uh, the, the rear has been redesigned the front has been redesigned in terms of spec i mean the way these are spec and they handle and they drive is completely different to a 997 Gen 1. If you're looking for sort of a raw visceral experience, you buy a Gen 1 997, but if you're looking for something from an investment point of view that is a bit safer and in some ways comfortable and subdued because of the suspension and no longer do you have that human beating heartbeat of the 997 Gen 1 if you're wondering when will the engine go pop, well it rarely ever does, then you actually buy the direct fuel injected 997 Gen 2. To discuss this car any further, we need to drive it. From the get-go, what I love about the 997 Gen 2 PDK is that I don't have to worry about all the care and the attention that you would normally need to give to a 997 Gen 1. Meaning, you know, you turn the key, you wait a while, let the engine warm up, and you know, all the uh, advice that normally comes with it. On a Gen 2, uh, it's you know, put the key in and to some degree, you know, you can drive it away. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. Still, I think there is still certain level of care that you, one needs to take, but there are from a point where you will be dailing a car every single day, there are advantages to the 997 Gen 1, sorry, uh, Gen 2, as opposed to the Gen 1. The biggest advantage is definitely the PDK, the Dupo Kupplungsgetreib, the dual clutch gearbox. This is the seven speed PDK gearbox. Because immediately the car is so much more responsive and an absolute joy to ride. And if you are someone that will be sharing the 911 with your other half, then definitely worth getting the PDK as opposed to the manual. And you actually get better performance figures uh, on the PDK as opposed to the manual. This has the 3.8 litre direct fuel injected engine. Um, so the fuel is actually fed directly into the combustion chamber as opposed to the air intake manifold in the Gen 1. So it produces the 3.8 litre direct fuel injected engine produces 380 brake horsepower. The quite torquey as well, 420 newton meters of torque. And the 0 to 60 is in an incredible not, uh, not of four, sorry, 4.3 seconds. And uh, you also get really good fuel economy. So it's, it's pretty good uh, in the Gen 2 that you could actually comfortably be getting 28 to 30 miles per gallon on average whereas on a gen 1 i think you're looking uh, at about sort of 22 to 25 so an extra 5 mpg now what i love about this 911 is the spec you know the chrono sport plus package and the sports exhaust let's switch that on the sports exhaust Second. I mean immediately you've got this absolutely amazing sound that is produced by the PSC system. Um, I would say in the Gen 1 uh, it sounds uh, a bit raw and gruntier as opposed to in the Gen 2 but that is for obvious reason whether that's emission related whether that's you know, for them to try to create a car that is more in line with how technology is moving and, you know, there is less of an analog feeling to most things. 
But being on the topic of analog, this is the last of the Porsches that are actually produced by Porsche before they sort of went into this agreement with the VAG group. Uh, and they, you know, turned up to be completely different cars, such as the 991, which I'm not gonna get into. So again, one more time, actually, let's put it in sports. The PSC system is on, drop it to second. fact this has the sport steering wheel with paddle shifts um, at any point should you want you can actually drop down a gear or go up a gear and when the computer brain realizes that you just want to cruise along it does that job itself incredibly well by recognizing that the car needs to go into auto I didn't actually have sports on earlier so it's switched on now and um, the PASM is activated now as well, but you can actually switch off the PASM. Um, the minute you press that sports button, because of the Chrono Sport Plus package, you actually have a bit of an uplift, uh, or I, I, would all, I would almost call it um, a stage one remap. you back into your seat right away and nice to know that I'm actually sitting in the sports seats I mean spec wise this is literally the perfect spec Porsche 911 uh, I don't think anyone will find a better spec 911 997 Gen 2 out there than this The 997 uh, really is uh, got this classic uh, look to it in terms of how the headlights look and just the styling, the body styling of it is like, um, and they're quite uh, they're quite easy to drive, uh, very uh, nimble and they hold and they grip really well, and um, you can definitely tell the size difference between this and a 991. And overall, if you are looking for something with a classic look, um, then you've got to go ahead and buy a 997. And also, something that is extremely important is that if you are looking for uh, a classic shaped 911 that will hold um, its, its, its value and that will hold what it will be worth in five years time or actually will be worth more than what you've paid for it, then definitely the 997 Gen 2 is the way to go uh, I mean just look at it for a moment these beautiful design four-wheel drive cars this is obviously the four-wheel drive 4S PDK um, if it wasn't for the ducktail you would have had that long bar at the bottom but I would rather have it with a ducktail um, because of the history of it and how this car is paying homage to the sports classic and I don't want to be jumping into the second topic as of yet because we are yet to talk about the exterior in a minute. If you're wondering what this is from an exterior spec point of view in terms of the colour scheme, this is paying homage to the Sport Classic. That's a quarter of a million, quarter of a million pound car. It went through this transformation with RPM Technic approximately two to three years ago. Four owners, uh, four owners ago, and he literally put a lot of money into this. The wrap is done in the Sport Classic Grey. It's got the 19 inch 911 997 generation two turbo alloys. Everything is done to perfection. And in terms of the original base color uh, of this 911, that is in seal grey. Really, the magic of this car is what you find on the inside. You pretty much have everything you would want in a 911. I don't think there is another 911 997 Gen 2 better spec than this. The um, sports steering wheel, sports seats, it, it's in that beautiful grey interior which would have matched extremely well with this original seal grey metallic. If you want that, we can actually take the wrap off for you, but you would be 
crazy to ask us to do this. It's got the sought after PDK gearbox with the Sports Chrono Plus package, uh, with the Sports button, Sport Plus, the PASM and the PC button there at the bottom. And you've also got the benefit of having the navigation system. Currently it's done 63,158 miles. So in terms of uh, mileage, it's actually um, very well looked after, still fairly low miles. Now you're probably wondering about the service history. Maintenance wise, it pretty much has had all the maintenance work it's ever required or needed, such as spark plugs, the exhaust at the back overhauled, the gearbox service done, um, I mean, you name it, the drive belt, whatever it's ever needed has been done to this vehicle. Owners are slightly bit on the higher side. In total, it has 11 owners since new, but I've actually known the past three owners. So three owners ago, um, our customer Stevie sold it to us. It went to another customer of ours, John, who upgraded to a 991 GTS, then went into my most recent customer, Daniel, who brought it back into us because he needed some money for some investment opportunities. So all in all, um, it's got, it's got 11 owners, but I mean, it's, it's a very well looked after car. You've got to remember that 11 times this would have gone through some sort of an independent inspection or 11 times it would have gone through a completely brand new set of eyes or 11 different sets of preparation with a dealer. So all in all, if you are looking for a 997 that is well looked after, well specced, that is going to keep the money you'll put into it, I don't think one can do any better than this 997. So thank you very much for watching. Press that subscribe button and let us know if we've been any good. Bye.